Hey Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are good. I'm gonna see what wants to come out. I've got the King of Pentacles on the back of the deck, 144 on the clock. First card out, yourself, the devil, present energy. Guided to stop shuffling, Emperor on the back of the deck. Celebration. It feels like having to have discipline to celebrate the sun. Discipline to have fun, discipline to be happy. Training yourself to have fun, to relax, to take it easy, not too seriously, to be happy, to enjoy, to enjoy your life, to enjoy the blessings that are coming in, to let go of the past, to release, to forgive. Forgiveness is unconditional, same way as love. Forgiveness is something that sets us free so that we don't hold that hate inside of us so that it doesn't continue to damage ourselves internally it feels like there's been there's a lot coming in here and the main message with these two cards coming through is that celebration could be a problem because you haven't been able to celebrate or you haven't learned how to celebrate how to have fun how to be happy three two two three two one pluto um first of september to the 19th of november the big finale Something wasn't meant to be the way that it was forever. It feels like you may have only ever known one way of things. Things are about to be so happy, but it may not be something comfortable because of the life you've lived, the things you've experienced. This isn't for anyone else to understand. This isn't for anyone else to advise. There's something coming through here about what's right for someone, it doesn't mean it's right for you. And that only you know what you've gone through, only you know what you faced, only you know what you need. Just because something should be easy or it's easy to someone doesn't mean it's easy for you and to really honour that for yourself, to respect that for yourself. That thing of if we judge... Um, what is that thing about uh, if we judge the fish's ability or the fish's genius by its ability to climb a tree? That thing of that we all have different gifts, different ideas, different needs, different wants, different capabilities, strengths, weaknesses. That maybe something that people take for granted is something that you fight to to do or fight to feel. It feels like you're being really asked to celebrate yourself, what makes you you, your quirks, your authenticity. Instead of focusing on things that, focusing on your differences and seeing them as a problem, to focus on your differences and see them as celebration. To work on celebrating yourself. To be disciplined when it comes to having fun. This will only make sense to those it needs to make sense to, the Empress because it's like discipline having fun like you'll get it if it's if you're meant to get it two of pentacles yeah many endings in order to balance something out physically in order for your life to be balanced for you to be balanced finding your feet it's a very ungrounded energy in the past Feels like just running the, a race blindfolded, hoping for the be best, taking a deep breath, taking a leap of faith. But it feels very um, rebellious energy in the past, very sporadic, very... Um, explosive. That thing of how we receive the energy we put out, you could have received a lot of explosive tower situations, things happening, it's that narrative of how do these things happen to you? I don't know how this happens to you. This is something I've heard my whole life. It's like, yeah, I happened to me. 
that Matilda energy again. There's something here about you really harnessing your own energy. And that although something's been so destructive, it's been so hard, it's like take time to grieve. But it's necessary to see what there is to be grateful for, see what there is to be, see the blessings all around you and to really amplify that. You needed to hit rock bottom and stay there for long enough for you to understand. You needed to hit rock bottom and stay there long enough for you to understand what that's about what is what rock bottom can bring you but when you have nothing what you can really learn about yourself being left with no option but to look within being left with no option but to cut cords with certain things what do you really do when you have nothing left what do you really do when you're pushed to your limits when you're pushed to that animalistic state when you when you have so much anger or so much rage or when you're really um in that underworld energy again with this pluto business treasure 48 year transit like this is once in a like i should have a drink right now and not a tea like this is like cheers guys cheers cheers like saint paul like what what 248 years and we're here what 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 nothing was going wrong it was never going wrong you got as much as you could handle but no one could handle it but look you did it's been handled and now you're here what <laughs> what <laughs> blessings upon blessings king of cups six of pentacles You've become the master, it's like mastering your own emotions. What's coming through is that thing um, Dr. Joe Dispenza says about that you have to tell your body to sit, like how you tell a dog to sit, train a dog to sit. Like when you want to move, you want to react, that emotional reaction, mastering vibration, mastering frequency, mastering emotion, mastering your mindset. Something completely shifted, something that would have bothered you, would have triggered you, would have got in your way no longer does ten of swords empress six of wands something's broken your heart but it's fixed your vision there's a lot of that you've had to let go of here something else is going through i was watching a good witch today i just had the cutest little day there's been a change in the atmosphere guys and it just sets my soul on fire i'm just so loving it right now it's like although it's still hot and there's still that nice sunny kind of thing it's like it's getting a bit darker earlier and it's a bit, um, that autumnal energy is kicking in. So I just turned it all the way up and I'm in Halloween already in my head. So I have a little pumpkin spice candle. I had a good witch on, just having a little clean, a little spring clean. Anyway, my point here, watching the good witch and the guy in it says something about, something about grief, about how instead of trying to replace the thing that we're grieving, that we um, find something new to love, to give us hope, that you change the focus, you change direction. It's not about replacing the thing. It's not about deleting the pain. It's not about pretending or being um, in denial about if something happened or it didn't happen. It's just, you find a new focus, you find a new light, you find a new love. You keep moving, you keep going, you keep moving through it. It feels like something has been heartbreaking, world shattering. There could have been a lot of regret and resentment and hurt throughout your lifetime lived. Especially in terms of that 2008 Pluto Palava. But it depends how you look at it. It's like, it's a blessing, it's a curse. Well, it depends how you view something. It feels like you're starting to see things clearly. The bigger picture, why certain things had to end, how certain things weren't for you. 
that as much as maybe you thought they were in the moment, why something didn't fit, it was never meant to fit, person, place or thing. That maybe there was aspects of yourself that you hadn't even seen yet, that you hadn't even got to know yet, that you maybe thought was something you enjoyed, but you didn't really see it as real or it was a fantasy or something that you wasn't going to bring into your reality, but something you just enjoyed on the side or a guilty pleasure. It's like something was for something wasn't for you but what is for you has now found you and it's like it feels like you found yourself you've remembered yourself that certain people something's coming through about a lover a past lover it's like as much as maybe you wanted something to work they maybe fit the version of you that you were showing up showing up as but they wouldn't have fit the version of you that you show up as today in terms of being uh, liberated in your authenticity. It's becoming clear why certain things had to leave and it feels like you're gaining more clarity about who you are, about the mystery of yourself, the mystery of your soul and enjoying that enjoying the dreaminess of things. Full moon in Pisces. Okay, I didn't know about this, we're just being guided over here, so let's see what he's saying. Um, full moon. Uranus retrograde plus full moon and lunar eclipse in Pisces. Yeah, on the same date that Pluto also goes retrograde and moves into Cap. Full moon and lunar eclipse, September 17th. Swift and unexpected endings. Yeah, it's like as much as there's so much abundance and so much celebration, you've conquered, you've overcome something, blessings are coming in, something like a life changing event, a life changing accomplishment, success, something that you've that's gonna like blow you away, like it's going to feel like impossible i'm hearing sky's the limit biggie but it's like it's going to feel like something's impossible has happened like a, this dream has come true it, it does come true a dream you have created a dream that you brought to life but there is this kind of uh sorrow sadness grief nostalgia about how something was how something or like that something's ending something isn't what it was leaving the old behind celebrating the new while grieving the old simultaneously it does feel uncomfortable you could be feeling pretty ungrounded right now there's something about just looking after yourself looking after your health filling your cup putting yourself first doing things to pamper yourself that make you feel good, be kind to yourself, rest, bear medicine coming through, meditate, a lot of sleeping maybe if you feel called to, just to rest, to sleep, have a me day, just really love on yourself, write um, something about writing, about your dreams or really just amplifying your magic at this time using the elements using your imagination using your intuition the things that make you happy the things that light you up guys i know this chair's squeaky every time i hear it squeak now i'm like oh because couple of years said like oh can't you change the chair it's squeaking but it's like no i can't change my chair it's my favorite fitting chair man and my favorite lady gave it to me next door 
and it's old but it's got that comfortable old feel you know it's like i keep looking at chairs and they just look so everything nowadays is so i don't know cold and hard and uncomfortable so like, where's the character where's the luxury where's the squeak now you don't even want to squeak come on squeak <laughs> it's not having it um see so yeah, i'm not changing my chair right now guys makes me happy and i don't like change i don't like new things i really don't although i'm sure pluto pluto's uh turned into that the hierophant future energy well I just had hello, <laughs> is it me I'm looking for? And then here comes the lovers on the Hierophant, guys. <laughs> I swear, not funny, 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 funny. Release, let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities, time to move on. This person coming in, they could care about the same things as you, like invest in the same things, help the same causes. Follow your passion when it comes to your career, be the best at what you do, being compensated for your creative talents. Some of you, something's coming through about animals, birds, Listen to your heart, intuitive insights you can trust, taking care of others perhaps too much. Like working with animals or helping animals, caring for animals or supporting financially or something or just having a care or maybe you both have pet. I don't know. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. The dreamer. Embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure, trust yourself. Two, two, three, three. And we have the princess of summer, gentle, sensitive, kind and inexperienced. A new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to social events, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. Very romantic energy coming through, guys. Very peaceful, parasympathetic. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. Focus in on that which frightens or worries you. We've got the swan, number 39, Grace, 23-23 on the clock. Accept your ability to know what lies ahead. If you are resisting your self-transformation, relax. It will be easier if you go with the flow. Stop denying that you know who is calling when the phone rings. Pay attention to your hunches and your gut knowledge and honor your female intuitive side. Regardless of gender, we all have female and masculine energies. If you pull swan, it ushers in a time of altered states of awareness and of development of your intuitive abilities. Swan medicine people have the ability to see the future, to surrender to the power of great spirit and to accept the healing and transformation of their lives. Number 55. He stands out for his positive deeds, his kindness and his zeal in loving God and all men. He knows the path he needs to follow, understands the divine mysteries and actively promotes religious concepts. He is not attached to material things always available. He is at his best when working for the good of the community and with suitable companions for his life's journey. His grasp of situations and events, including the unexpected, is great. 
and he resolves any associated problems with creative approaches. It is important to him that his existence continues through his children. Reasons for invoking to increase fertility, to protect our morale and religion, to help us in all we need to understand planet Mercury, attribute eternal God. Oh, guys, and we got the lovers. This is such an elegant reading. There's something really beautiful coming through here. Divine um, love. It feels like you've had to be the bigger person over and over again. And not in terms of suppressing something to look good, but in terms of actually transmuting and forgiving. Like there's a lot of strength here. It's such a graceful, peaceful energy. It feels like you faced a lot within yourself to get to this point. So this love coming in, it feels effortless, seamless, beautiful, relaxing, comforting, supportive. Rose quartz, I think, on this card. There's a very reassuring message coming through that it's okay, that the storm has passed, that you've done it, you are victorious, that you made the right decisions, that you've acted with integrity, that you've acted in a way that is true to your heart. It's not about where something's got you, it's about... If you've got you, regardless of what's going on, and it feels like you've made decisions that have meant that you can be at peace with yourself. Taking the hard road. Feels like a lot of emotional pain here, a lot of grief. But this is like a whirlwind healing. It's like a beautiful pink light coming through. It's like, um, it's a healing. I'm literally seeing someone in a pink bubble, like an energy bubble. And it's kind of just floating off like a UFO. Like it's, it's a new path, it's a new timeline, it's a new day, it's a new dawn. And yes, we're feeling good. Maybe not yet, but soon. In the near future here, we've got a few months. November 19th, yeah. I'm just seeing a little mole run down into his hole. It's, it's like, look guys. It ain't over till it's over, all right? But you didn't come this far just to come this far. So, last round. One last time. Enjoy it. Enjoy the pain. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but some of people are like, enjoy the pain, enjoy the hurt, enjoy the, enjoy it all right now. This last little bit, this last little chapter of this specific transformation, this like lap it up. Because the days that you pray to come to an end are gonna be the good old days at one stage in your life, looking back that there's as much as something maybe was dark and that underworld energy, painful, hurtful, scary, um, staring death in the face or going all the way to start, like whatever it is, like really having to face certain things. To taste all sides of life is a blessing in itself. To feel all the contrasts of life that you won't ever go back to where you've come from in the way you were there. 
you won't ever be the same person twice. You've already changed today from who you were yesterday. To really enjoy the present moment. If you're battered and bruised and sitting on the floor, then sit on the floor, bad and bruised and smile and say thank you. Dust yourself off, get yourself what you need and keep it moving. You were made to do this, you can do this, whatever this is. There's really beautiful blessings coming in. This partnership is healing in itself. This feels like new love. This doesn't feel like somebody in your energy yet. But it's on the horizon, the chariot the sun patchouli page 141 planet mars zodiac signs libra taurus and virgo energy feminine daily correspondence tuesday element earth patchouli's earthy smell is often an acquired taste but may be worth it for those looking for luck in the areas of love and money its exotic scent often included in perfumes and pot purees and used as incense has an otherworldly quality that can enchant your spell work. Its language is passion, magical properties. Patchouli is well known for its ability to attract money, though not entirely related. It's also used as an aphrodisiac and to aid fertility. Suggested use. Utilising love and money spells for best results. Consider a spritz of patchouli cologne before your next casino outing. Add to a ritual bath or use a perfumed soap to open your intuitive pathways. No need to roll the dice when patchouli's in the house. Three dabs upon the wrist and lady luck, it does arouse. Page 141. Two really random things coming through here. First one is be mindful of your feminine energy and being defensive, overly defensive, that dark feminine energy, that widow that eats its mate kind of energy. Something else coming through is you may be invited to go somewhere that you wouldn't usually go or somewhere that you don't agree with. Be open-minded, keep an open heart and open mind. Just because maybe you wouldn't do something or you don't necessarily agree with doing something, doesn't mean you can't celebrate that someone else does that. Not saying do anything crazy, but what's coming through with this, well, the thing with the feminine energy was Frank Sinatra, luck be a lady. Oh, what is it that come through about? Um, yeah, just like kind of maybe running game on your date. Um, or like being like a woman hater, a man hater, a just a hater because of like how you've been treated in the past or projecting maybe unconsciously it's just be mindful some of you it's like you're aware of this how you could maybe be a bit too defensive or kind of try and do a runner before you've even got anywhere because it's like easier for you to leg it than to be rejected just be mindful of that and then the other thing about maybe not going somewhere that you feel comfortable um, is I don't really feel comfortable in casinos because of certain ancestral things and with gambling and things, but it's my own triggers. And when it said that about consider a spritz of patchouli cologne before your next casino outing, my instant reaction was judgment. Casino, I don't want to get in a casino. And it's like, no one asked you to go to a casino. Like, okay. But that kind of thing, it's like you may be invited somewhere and you're like, ew, I don't want to go there. Why are we in there? I'm not it's like, easy, swan. Open your heart, open your mind. What's the worst that can happen? Do it for you for the experience and do it for them because to love is healing you're going to be surprised about how this goes in a good way guys the video just cut off my mother rung me to give me an update on her night out <laughs> 
She's everything. Um, I'm just gonna check the lovers because I'm skipped past that and just went straight to the Herbal Magic book. So from the Crystal Tarot, we've got the lovers. La 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 la. Sign Gemini, Crystal Rose Quartz, Chakra Crown. Follow your heart as love and relationships may be your focus now. You all have choices to make and an important decision in the offing, which will have life-changing effects in the long term as you commit to it. It is also a period in which you will notice opposites in everything around you. This is the way of nature. You will be aware of the different sides in any argument or dispute. And you can use these observations to resolve any conflicts. The Lover's Card has an astrological association with Gemini, which mirrors the Lover's. It is the sign of bonding, but beware of its frivolous nature. This is an example of the yin and yang of your life. Dualities, good and bad at the same time, balancing each other. Something will happen to give you a deeper understanding of your self-value and you will feel more complete. Rose Quartz is the lover's crystal. It is the stone of love, enhancing relationships and commitment. Although you may expect the lovers to be linked to the heart chakra, the crown chakra is actually the energy center that connects you to universal energy and love. Meditate on any difficult decisions and you will find peace of mind. Something interesting coming through, I was just like, oh, I pulled um, half of the spread, but I never pulled the last bit up to the outcome. Never done that before. That's strange, you had to wait for the outcome. It's like, yeah, there's been a long wait, there's been a long delay for the outcome. Some of you, it's like you're waiting for something to come, something to happen. And this love is kind of like a curveball in terms of this comes in and kind of sets you off, not on a new direction, but it's, um, it is a new energy in the direction that you're going. Even with this person that's coming in, it's like this happens before the thing that you're waiting for to happen, happen. It's like you're waiting for something to move forward and something else comes in and you start moving in a different way that then leads to the thing happening. There is a delay here, but it's because things are about to be a lot more successful than maybe you have planned for, than you are, than you're, than you're thinking they're going to be. This is a lot bigger than you may realize there's a lot of surprises a lot of blessings a lot of things that you've been manifesting coming in maybe things you've actually forgotten about things you've given up on there's a lot of magic taking place here this is the final push i don't want to hear about final push push me over the edge man final push six eight years High Priestess, 16 years, 16 years, mate. Hex, hey, yes. See what the cat gurus have got for us. Oh, I'm not again, man, sorry. Sif. I'm taking you out of the deck tonight. I'm going. I'm going, Sif. Sif. It's old Sif again. Sif. <sighs> Sif. You can charm the most dangerous of enemies with a timely saucer of milk. Don't sell your soul. Don't get caught off guard. Don't get distracted. You know? Don't give up at the last minute. Don't think you need a handout. Don't think you need... You need um, someone to give you opportunity, put you on a pedestal, someone to see something in you, to see your potential. No. See yourself. Do it for yourself. Don't get lured into any nonsense. Stay strong. Stay humble. Trust in the bigger picture. Not, uh, 
humble is not the right word. It's like, don't settle. But it's that thing of we're not always as clear-minded when we're tired. And not kind of tired like, oh, I didn't get sleep on time yesterday, but in terms of 16 years of tired, kind of tired, so tired, you know, drunk knees, wobbly knees, tired. It's like, don't give up in the last minute, need a warm place just to sit down, to relax, to crash, needing someone or something to lean on someone. No, no. <laughs> Four, four. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt the decisions you've made. Things are working perfectly. Even if they're not working how you would want them to be working for you to see them perfectly. You can see straight through any kind of cat sif coming your way. You want me to read it? I don't like reading it. I don't like this energy, guys. I don't. I don't know why you send me it either, because you know I don't like it. Some readers love this shit, so send it to them. <sighs> Protect the fruits of your labours. Four, seven, purpose, ladybird. Yeah, people coming back from the past. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. It's like... This is going to sound brutal. And this is going to sound like too much of a matter-of-fact thing to say. But this is what's coming through to say for this, so... If it resonates, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Do what you want to do anyway. Obviously, this is only entertainment. But, um... Who's not... Whoever's not standing with you right now... You can't take them with you any further. You can't bring them. You can't go back and bring them through right now. You can't change your mind now you're out of the hole or you're getting out of the hole. Something is done and finished and it's to stay there. It feels like you already met Sif. Got rid of Sif, Sif comes back. You know, don't entertain it. Certain people know exactly what you need when you need it. Timely saucer of milk. They can see you're falling, they can see you're tired, they can see... I know this all sounds calculated and nasty and it's like, oh, we don't really want to, like... I don't even like picking up on this energy, but it's like, it's real, that energy's out there. It happens all the time. Consciously, unconsciously, people are on madness. So, protect your energy, pour your own saucer of milk. And if you run out of milk, go thirsty. <laughs> Moving on to the angels quick. No, 4-7. I knew it, guys. I knew it. I can feel it. When I just said about Ladybird, 4-7 purpose. Something just come through. I went to see my angel lady today. She's like my favorite angel lady. She's about um, 80. Actually, the most intuitive, magical lady I've ever met. Anyway, she lives at number 47 and she has ladybirds on her thing. I just got an image of it. Her whole house is covered in fairies, outside, inside, like fairies, dragons, um, all kind of mystical, wonderful, little gems. But there's something coming through here about like, her energy is so pure, so light. It's like, whenever I'm starting to feel unsettled, it's like just going to see her will literally clear my whole aura. Like, she's just love personified. And when I'm seeing this Sif, <laughs> and this is coming out here, it's just like a complete, the energy coming through this for me, because it's like, obviously, my, and they know how I'm going to take this. It's like, you're good. Trust yourself. Love um, is stronger than fear, stronger than hate. The light can overcome any bad intention, that Atlantean energy, nothing to fear. Right, I'm gonna read Sif quick. 
The size of a dog, this is not a model that you'd like to bump into on a raw, bright moonlight night in the Scottish Highlands, mainly because given half a chance after scaring you to death, this naughty Celtic spectre will proceed to steal your soul. I'm after Ben, Sif, innit? Sif, you might have to go in the pumpkin spice, mate. I can't have it. You just, every time I see you there, we send you luck, look, and you do this, look. All right. It's not Sif's fault, All right? Um. Or is it the light moves to the, to the, to the dark holes in space? The dark attracts light or does light attract dark? Does the light go attract to the dark hole or does the dark hole attract the light or does the light move to, like what way around is it? I don't know, anyway. The brighter your light, the darker the night. However, just keep turning it up. Blind all them bitches. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's not a thing, guys. It's not a thing. High Priestess, four seven. We've got a Salia. Elegant, firm, great self control. He stands out because of his charisma. He's also sweet natured, tender, and friendly. His attitude is always based on truth. Completely fair and incorruptible, with a heightened faith. He is extremely dynamic. See what I'm saying? Can't be tempted with no little saucer of milk. His attitude is always based on truth. Incorruptible, with a heightened Faith, extremely dynamic, living from day to day, making the most of every second in order to fulfill what comes to mind. He can go beyond his own powers without reaching exhaustion. He makes sacrifices in pursuit of his ideas. He does not like confusion, especially concerning love. Proud without being snobbish, he genuinely accepts other people's beliefs and teachings. He is always changing his form without altering the divine essence. Planet the sun. Reasons for invoking to protect against scandal and immorality, to reveal the truth in veiled situations and guide towards appropriate behavior, to understand the divine aspects of nature. Page number 36, God who shows the truth. Some of you, this Sif guy could be an ex <laughs> coming back with a saucer of milk. It's like someone could just be picking up on your energy or just like wanting to come back around. Just because something's moving slow or you feel like something's never going to happen, don't use that as a reason to settle. Something can always happen. It's never too late. But it can't happen. If you settle for something less than you want to happen and that's taking up the space of the thing you actually wanted to happen. See what Alice has got for us. Growing and growing, outgrowing your environment. You are experiencing some radical change and this is transforming you from top to bottom. This is not a bad thing per se, for life is all about impermanence and evolution. The tricky part is that your environment may not change at the same speed, leading you to feel like someone whose shoes are too small for their feet. Strive to create the optimal conditions for your expansion. Make it a priority because right now your well-being comes first. Key question, do you have enough space to grow and blossom? Page number 23. Protect the fruits of your labours. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Environmental conservation. 
guys and again it came out again i was like let me just pull one more to erase him but he don't want to go bro what do you want who's this stay true to your values and you will nap soundly hank for senate this energy is coming through like maybe someone from the past an ex someone you was with a long time someone that you need to cut cords with a final cord cutting somebody could just be like it feels obsessive addicted to your energy reminiscing that you they could be popping into your head they're thinking of you heavily you could be thinking of them heavily because they're thinking of you heavily it feels like there's this murky energy that you could be picking up on no matter how hard things get it feels like the key is to not go back to this as a form of relief, as a form of short-term pleasure, as a form of self-sabotage, whatever it is. It's better to give than receive. Unless that gift is chosen by a cat, then you've got the cat bringing you the mice. That's what I'm saying. Some cat is about to bring you a mouse. Don't be afraid to predict doom. Just make sure everyone listens. <laughs> this is me predicting this doom, but it's okay, guys. It's not doom if you don't let it doom you. You know what I mean? Like, and we got Bastet. Hey. Use your claws to get to the top of the pyramid and demand to be worshipped. Yeah, no settling for no back, nothing you already come out of. Especially nothing that's like the kind of energy that's coming through right now. Bastet, worshipped by ancient Egyptians. Bastet was the protector goddess of joy, dance, music, childbirth and family. Her earliest incarnation was that of a lion-headed female warrior, but as she became associated with the domestic sphere, her image changed to a house cat. Today's cats know they are the descendants of gods. Damn, do they know as well. They let you remind you that they know as well. <laughs> And then we had Hank for Senate that come out, a true cat of the people. Hank pulled himself up from nothing. This Beltway outsider and resident of Springfield, Virginia, knows the everyday struggles of ordinary people and cats and bases his campaign for US Senate on plain meowing and common sense. Vote Hank. Yes, Hank. Right, I just want to have a quick look into this love and then shall leave you be. I don't even know how long I've been going because since mother called, I restarted the video and God only knows how long the last one was. So I'll just be changing it and I throw it in between each card. Let's get some gold on this lover. Sift back in the box. Look, it's under there. Let me. Do I just leave you out? No, there's nothing to fear. Look him straight in the eye. Think how much you didn't know when you started. Something's coming up about reflecting in terms of years, when you started this dream, like how far you've come, where you stand, reflect. What couldn't you do? 
what didn't you have what didn't you know realize how, even if in terms of physically nothing's really changed how much value in terms of yourself it's like there's been a reason for this that new earth energy community collaboration what is your value what do you have to offer it's like anyone can answer um can give good answers to talk themselves into a job to talk themselves into position i'll like, be real once you're in a lot of positions it's not easy to get out or be fired because there's so many policies and protocols where it makes it difficult for managers just to be firing people which is why there's people that work in jobs that shouldn't be working certain jobs but who am i judging yes yeah, shut up all right still think what you know now like maybe you don't have something that others do but what do you have what kind of skills have you cultivated how much more do you know yourself know where you're heading know what you'll do what you won't do what your value sense of self sense of worth nine of cups nine of pentacles guys it really is it feels like um from nothing to everything this weight is finally being released This is, uh, this love something for the long term, marriage, family, joy, prosperity, um, you could have a lot of land, a big home, um, a lot of people coming in and out of the home, family, children, um, like entertaining or cooking uh, for others, hosting things for others, family, maybe just extended family, this is the most beautiful, guys, nine of pentacles, nine of cups, ten of cups, and it's such a loving, emotionally fulfilling unconditional love very grounded energy an end to heartbreak you could have had many relationships in terms of only experienced um heartbreak rejection pain disloyalty it feels like there's been a period it feels like there's been a period of um some kind of hellish relationships or relationship this has come to an end there's been a healing you've put the work in it's time to rest to, it's time to rest it's time to rest to relax there's just this constant reassurance coming through it's okay it's over it's over it's okay i'm seeing like you know like if someone's hyperventilating after a traumatic situation and you're trying to calm them down as much as you keep telling someone it's over it's okay there's nothing to worry about. The body's still going. It feels like a lifetime of intensity. That it's going to take you a minute to realise, oh, it's actually okay and it's been okay. Maybe it's been okay for a minute, but you just haven't registered yet because of how much turmoil something's been. It feels like although the waters around you have settled, the water within you is still flowing and crashing. Give yourself time to adjust to the storm passing the storm within you needed to be tended to so that you could be present for your family for your loved ones for yourself for this dream for whatever this is that you're creating because it's like as much as you would have been there you wouldn't have been there because something else would have had your intention attention internally or you just wouldn't have been feeling, it's like you wouldn't have been able to be present. And no matter how much success you had, no matter how much love you had, no matter how great your family was, or no matter how beautiful, abundant, luxurious, how much money you have, no matter how perfect something is, if you're not there to enjoy it, and I don't mean physically there, if you're not there, present to enjoy it, you might as well not have it. Like there's so many people that are, sitting with their family but their mind's somewhere else their feelings are somewhere else they're sitting exactly where they want to be doing the thing they want to do they've got everything they could ask for but they're not there
the journey that you've taken, although it may not have been the most glamorous, you're now here. And this is priceless. This is something that people can't buy. This has been worked for. And this is why it's special. And this is why this is going to go the long term because these foundations are built on truth and good intention. Oh, guys, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to cry. She's always going to cry. She's always crying. I don't, I don't know why. I just, was just let myself cry. Let it go. Let it flow. Yeah. Death, Ace of Cups. Um, Hierophant. This person is so caring, so kind, so compassionate. The Wheel of Fortune. Right. I just heard, why don't you check what um what this person went through before they met you? And then I was like, oh, okay, if I need to check what this person was doing before they come in, if that matters for some reason. I picked up the deck, the only card, one card was left on the table. I pick up to check it and it's the tower. And what's coming through with this is, you wouldn't think this person could understand or size of you because of how they are. But it's like where you stand today, you wouldn't think you was you. If this, if you can get what I'm saying, it's like something about where you've come from, you wouldn't believe it unless you knew it. And it feels like this person's come from a similar thing, have experienced similar towers, similar traumas, similar life path, or they just get, they just get it. And not because they're living it in the now, but because it's a knowing based on what they've gone through, what they've experienced. There's a very kind, caring, passionate, um, loyal, very sensible, almost boring energy coming through with this person. That's how it could come across. This person's the furthest thing from boring. But it's like, this person isn't reactive because of how much they've gone through to master that reactive, that reactivity. And knowing the cost, something's going through again, this is a good witch coming through again. Um, the, um, the, what is, to fight, you need to know what is the cost the cost of the fight it's like is it worth it it's like this person knows the cost of the fight the cost of wanting to needing to be right the cost of ego the cost of is it worth it what they truly value is unconditional love it's like this person's not gonna sacrifice something meaningful to win an argument or to be have the upper hand or there's no pettiness here. This is just real, pure love. The desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, changing to make, choosing to make major life changes. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life. Brilliant, loyal, talented and friendly. Free, free, free. Some of you, it's moving to an environment, a location that supports you to relax. It's like you've conquered something. Yeah, you could live in any environment, but why live somewhere as a test to yourself? It's like you've passed this test. Now, what do you need to thrive? Not what do you necessarily need just to survive? Especially with that Alice card out growing and growing. Have a good belly laugh. Who or what makes you laugh? Ring an old friend, look up old comedy skits or cat videos. Laugh or whatever you find amusing or ridiculous. The sillier, the better. I'm going to leave it there, guys. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you soon. Sending so much love.